I'm Kaylin, and I'm a junior at North Platte High School. Choo -choo! Dear Mom and Dad, thank you. Thank you for knowing that from day one I'm me and for loving me despite and because. Thank you for saying okay when I said I like girls too. Thank you for asking, do you like girls too? Thank you for saying too. Dear Grandma, thank you for listening to me cry. For listening to the heartbreak in my voice that night my heart pounded, Grandma. I listened to the hate from the man who was no longer gay. I listened to how he overcame. But I didn't listen with my ears. I know who I am. My identity isn't changing and that's okay. But the other kids, they don't know that. So I didn't listen with my ears. I listened with the ears of the unsure minds, unsure hearts, sitting in the same pews as I, listening to the same words. They don't know that man was wrong. You, you don't overcome being gay. I know that man was wrong, so I don't cry for me, I cry for them. Thank you for letting me cry. Dear Nana, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm so afraid. I'm sorry that I've accepted that you might not ever see the entirety of me, and I'm sorry that the entirety of me would break your heart. Dear boy, the one in the hallways who tears down the Gay Straight Alliance posters, I hope that you can learn to love without barriers. I hope that someday your kids will feel loved and like they are allowed to be themselves under your roof. Dear best friend, thank you for holding my hand and cuddling on the couch and loving me without fear. You don't always come across straight girls who love queer girls without any judgment or concern. Dear love, I'm sorry I can't hold your hand in public. Dear unsure minds and unsure hearts, you don't have to define who you are with a label. You don't have to know what label fits yet. You don't have to hide who you are because you're afraid. You don't have to show who you are because you're afraid. Don't dim your light for anyone. Dear seventh grade me, it's okay that you want to hold her hand on the playground. And it's okay that you get so excited to play Minecraft with the girl with the galaxy shoes. Dear ninth grade me, you don't have to pick. Spoiler alert, it's not any easier to just tell people you're a lesbian. You're not. Show them who you really are. Dear future me, I hope that you found a wonderful partner who loves you for you. Or I hope you're living a great life on your own. I hope you're dominating a job and showing the world that queer women are just as strong as straight men. Dear me, right now, you can be you without being ashamed. Stop being embarrassed. Someday you won't just be the gay kid and you won't be afraid to write a poem about it. You won't be writing you won't be writing letters defining your sexuality because it does not matter because it does not define you. Someday, things will be easier. Just wait.